My name is Balbo. Chief Inspector Balbo. This report is the result of my investigation into the deaths attributed to the so-called Giant of Geneva. I have forbidden my publishers to release it until after my death. I believe it will prove once and for all the existence of the so-called Monster of Frankenstein. <laughs> Sir Cal, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Our creation needs only one more thing. The spark. The spark of life. Sir Cal, hurry! We need the power now. But, Victor, I'm not sure What that... is it? We are about to accomplish something that scientists have only dreamed of, and we haven't a moment's time to waste now. We're going to bring hope to every person afraid of dying. Victor, have you considered the moral implications of what you're about to do? Damn it, man! I'm afraid your personal moralizing speeches will have to wait a while. Turn it on! Remember, Doctor, this is your decision. We must have more. I want more power right now. I can't. It'll blow up. I want more. Yes. Oh, my God! He moved! Oh, my creation! Listen to me, my child. I have given you life! I warned you that no, no! Huh? What? What's going on? The generator has been destroyed! Uh, why does it have to be now? Sukel, Sukel, wake up! We've done it, Sukel. He's alive!
have I done? Have I just given life to a monster? Him, Sukel. You hear? Mm -hmm. You will have to help me. I don't have to follow your orders anymore. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen to me. Shut up and make yourself useful. Here, take this. <gasps> take it. You mean kill him? We must not permit this hideous monster to wreck my research and my entire life's career. I'll make it worth your while. Now do it. <gasps> Doctor, wait! Hey! Dr. Uh, Victor, look out! Take this! that I became closely involved in these grisly events, events which stretch the limits of my imagination, and the memories of which will stay with me for the rest of my life. murdered, but by whom? There's a piece of him this big that's missing, Inspector. Something made a meal of him. We found pieces of him everywhere. Apparently, the murderer gobbled up quite a bit. Hmm. Any witnesses? No one saw anything. <laughs> ah, yes, the criminal. You have quite a sense of humor. Hey, Inspector Belbo! Hmm? Look, over there! Footprints? <laughs> too big to be a man's print. You're right, but they don't look like the tracks of an animal either. They look like the footprints of some kind of monster. Hmm. A monster, eh? Let's just see. Careful! Oh, he's come back. Madam, the doctor has returned. His coach has just arrived. Oh, oh. You've come back. Oh, Victor! Oh! Oh, my dear, how I've missed you. Mm. Where's Emily? She'll be home soon. Come, I'll make you a cup of tea. Mm-hmm. How is Emily? Fine. She's visiting your father. She adores the old man. Ugh! 
Okay, Lucky, I'm done now. Well, Grandpa, I gave you Mom's letter, and then I did some cleaning up in the cabin. Thank you very much, Emily. It's time you went home. Are you sure you'll be all right, Grandpa? Go on, your father will be waiting for you. Yeah? Philip? Over here. You'll see Emily home, won't you? Sure. Bye. Are you ready to go, Emily? Okay. Say, why don't you come live with us, Grandfather? No, no. I can't see so well anymore, but I know this place like the back of my hand. I'm comfortable here. Is there anything else I can do for you? You've done plenty. I appreciate your having come over to clean up for me. Now, go home. Your grandpa. I like him a lot. But why does he live alone, away from his family? I'm not sure. But it seems that Dad and Grandpa are always fighting bitterly whenever they're around each other. That's too bad. I want to thank you for taking such good care of Grandpa. No need to thank me. I love that kooky old guy. <laughs> oh, wow, wild roses. I love them. I think I'll get some for my dad. be enough. Let's go home. Okay, Lucky. Let's go home now. Uh, what's got into you, Lucky? Say, what do you think? You want to have a little dinner with us tonight, Philip? Thanks, Emily, but this is your father's first night home, and he'll want to spend some time with you. Some other time, though. I do want you to meet my dad. Do plan to visit with us soon. Thanks, Emily. I'll do that. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. <laughs> oh, Philip, why are you always so shy? What is it, Lucky? Shh! Lucky, please be quiet. I want to surprise Dad. It looks delicious, Emma. Thank you. My pleasure, madam. Nothing's too good for the master on his first night home. Slate, why isn't Emily back yet? I'm sure she'll be back soon. What? Elizabeth. What is it, dear? You are much too indulgent with her. Hello? Hmm? <laughs> why, Emily, come to dear. Daddy. Oh, Papa, I missed you. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. I missed you, too. I brought you a present, see? Ah, well, you know what? I brought you a present, too. Papa! Open it! I can't wait! Wow, what a beautiful scarf! <laughs> oh, nice! Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so wonderful, all of us being together again. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the blessings we have before us, and thank you for bringing our family back together at this table and for your everlasting bounty. Well, all right, what's to eat? It all looks so good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Nothing like a good steak. such a monster. Professor, there must be some way to convince you. 
Never. This obsession with bringing the dead back to life is not only insane, it's blasphemy. Why waste time on meaningless moral lessons? This is a concern of science. Son, morality should be of more concern to us than anyone. For morality is the fabric of civilization and must be most closely guarded by those of us who have the power to abuse it. I don't care what you think. I'm going ahead with my experiments. Victor, listen to me. Victor! Uh -huh. Are you feeling better? We were all a little worried about you, darling. Did Emily go to her grandpa's house yet? Yes. It's quite wonderful the way they get along and enjoy each other's company so much. Why does he have to live all by himself in the mountains? I think he must really hate me after all. How can you say that? He just enjoys living by himself. <gasps> huh? It sounds like Lucky has been hurt. Who cares about a dumb dog? I'm going to bed. Good night. Oh. I believe we can begin now. We're all here except our maid. And you trust her, I assume. Excuse me. Huh? Chief, nothing stolen. It doesn't look like a burglary. The animal? Ripped apart. There was hardly anything left of him, sir. Lucky! Oh. <laughs> no, please, stop crying. In time, you will forget all about this. It was unforgivable of me to bring it up. Read us now. Go on, you inconsiderate moron. Oh, yes, sir. You mentioned you haven't found anything missing. Is that right? Well, I... Not a thing. <laughs> well, he's no thief. Ah, refreshment. Splendid. Fresh today. I haven't smelled fresh pastries like these since I was a boy. My mother used to make them for me every weekend. The aroma brings back wonderful memories. Ah, I believe I know where this tea is from. Ah, English, isn't it? Uh, huh? We have come to the unfortunate conclusion that a madman may be on the prowl. In fact, we found the victim of an equally brutal murder in the park this morning. This is excellent tea. Funny thing is, we found what looked to us just like a footprint at the scene of the murder, but it was much too big to be that of a human. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm so very sorry. Emma, bring me a rag. Quickly, Emma. Please don't worry about it, Dr. Victor. All my clothes are the wash and wear kind. <laughs> oh, well. Take care now. Good night. I'm sorry that I troubled you. Emily, I'm sorry about Lucky, and I do hope you're feeling better soon. Bye now. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Uh, just one more thing. Dr. Victor, just what is your specialty? Why, natural science. Ah, yes, natural science. Then your experiments cover a broad range of subjects, don't they? Thank you.
wrong? Nightmare. Darling, try to get some rest. But I thought we had done away with it once and for all. What? Elizabeth, my dear, I want to be by myself for a while. It was just a bad dream. Morning, Dr. Victor. Morning, sir. So you're back. You know I've been looking for you. Why haven't you gotten in touch with me? Well, Doctor, what are you complaining about now? What are you saying? Who do you think you're talking to, Sakel? A man who is about to become a world-famous scientist shouldn't lose his temper so. How dare you, Sakel? You'd better look at me when I talk to you. Yes, perhaps I should. <laughs> Why are you so shocked, Doctor? You're the one that made me look like this. You're responsible. Now, tell me what you think of it. Oh, what's this? Are you threatening me, huh? I want money. And lots of it. I think 500000 ought to pay for this eye, don't you? Where would I get that much money? Either you get it for me, or the whole world will learn of your experiments. I'll do as you ask if I can be absolutely sure the monster's dead. Would you like to see the body, Doctor? I would indeed. And then you're going to pay for what you've done to me. Now I can be more hospitable. A faculty meeting has been called and you are invited. I was told to tell this to the illustrious Dr. Victor the moment he walked in the door. Faculty meeting? <laughs> Your slave is going to set himself free, Dr. Victor. And he won't have to grovel for you or anyone else ever again. A faculty meeting? What on earth could it be about? What could have happened? Gentlemen, I am at your service. Welcome, Dr. Victor Frankenstein. Well done. Dr. Frankenstein, it's my pleasure to welcome you as the newest member of the International Society of Natural Science. Congratulations, Doctor. Well, well, done. Yeah. well done, Doctor. Do you mean I'm now a member? Precisely, Doctor, and again, congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. I've done it. I've become a member of the Society. Nothing can stop me. I'll be famous throughout Europe. There is something in my way. Eat up, kids. We've got a lot of chores to finish this afternoon. Huh? <laughs> oh, the society? Yes, dear. Finally. After all these years, they selected me. Oh, oh my darling. I always knew they would. Madam, doctor, look at what they've done. Emma. What is it now? <gasps> oh, our garden. It's been trampled. Who would do such a thing? Oh, how awful. <clears throat> Doctor, look at that. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Oh. 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 It's just a footprint, Victor. It's all right, dear. It's too big to have been made by anything human. How can it be possible? <laughs> Five hundred thousand. It looks so small, eh? Hey! Are you positive that you killed him? Sure. Although, although what? Well, you did find those footprints. You mean you're not sure if you finished him off? I must be certain I must. You hear? What if he is still alive? Why should you care? Don't tell me you're worried he's going to take his revenge on you, Doctor. 
What are you getting at? Never fear. I'll take care of everything. Leave it to me. Members of the Natural Science Committee shouldn't have to worry about their personal safety. Stop it. Stop it, Sakel. What do you think, Doctor? Do you think I'll be able to make a fortune out of my misfortune? <laughs> At least here I have some peace. What's that? Victor, are you all right? What's the matter? Elizabeth! Are you all right? Who would do such a thing? I don't understand it. How could he have found me? It's just not possible. He couldn't follow me. It's just my imagination. It must be, but then who's responsible for all this? Huh? He's here. Now, I'll see. must hide yourself. The monster is here. Darling, you've had another nightmare. There's no one here but us. Calm down. Oh, I don't understand. Oh, dear. Oh. My mind. I'm losing my mind. Oh, God. I can't let that happen. No. Victor? But I know. I saw it. Ah, this is delicious. Can't believe there's a monster until there is one. <laughs> Franken! <laughs> Franken! <laughs> now I understand. Uh -huh. You scum. <laughs> so it was you, Sakel. You're the one responsible for everything that's happened to me and my family, aren't you? <laughs> right. You guessed it, Doctor. Just to remind you, who is the boss? How oh, dare you, <laughs> pig! <laughs> You don't want to cause a scene, do you, Dr. Victor? Society member? What's that? <clears throat> I'd hate to see you become an ex-society member. <laughs> Listen, I'm not a man you can threaten, you hear? <clears throat> then perhaps I had better make the world aware of your monstrous problem. <laughs> How dare you try to blackmail me? You dare accuse me of that? Of doing something that is criminal? After what you've done to me, Dr.? Or have you forgotten? You're responsible for my suffering, Doctor, and you must pay for that. What is it that you want, Sakel? Just $10,000. I feel that should be fair payment for my eye. Every month, until your death. What, are you mad? <laughs> I don't care how you do it. You can sell your house or sell your daughter for all I care. I don't care how you do it. You just get me that money, you understand? And what if I refuse? <clears throat> I've already given you everything you asked for, and it's nearly bankrupt me. Now you'll get no more. Mm, we'll see about that. I'll be waiting for you tomorrow night at the wharf at Loch Lehman. Don't forget, tomorrow night. So, Kel, you seem to be forgetting something. Legally, you're just as responsible as I am, and you could also go to prison. <clears throat> Fool. He's still concerned with the niceties of society and the law. Well, here's the law. <clears throat> What a headache. This is one of the worst cases we've ever had. You mean to tell me you haven't found one clue to his identity? 
Sorry, Chief, but every lead has been a dead end. We better come up with something. Soon. This madman could strike again any time, anywhere. <sighs> We're doing the best we can, Chief. Honest. Eh, ah, with no results. Chief, you'll think we're crazy. But the evidence has led us to believe it's not human, but some kind of a monster. Huh? A monster? That's impossible, Detective. And you know it. But, sir, everyone who's seen it has given us the same description. They say it's too big to be a man. That's great. All right, tell me about these sightings of this thing that's supposed to be inhuman. Someone sighted it yesterday on a farm north of town. Well, so what happened, huh? It killed and then devoured about a dozen chickens. Uh huh. The monster attacks chickens. Terrific. Hey, you! Get away from there! Get... Oh, my God! Oh! 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 Positive? That's what he was saying, Ronkin? Yes, sir. Repeated it several times, according to the report we got from the farmer. Ah, uh, Franken. Why Franken? Why say that unless he... Are you sure that is the word he used? Yes, sir. The witness was positive. I hope for all our sakes that farmer was mistaken. Dr. Victor's daughter, aren't you? Oh, aren't you Papa's assistant? Yes, though the doctor and I no longer see eye to eye. <gasps> <gasps> oh my, sir, what happened to you? Your eye! Someone in the laboratory got careless. By the way, you should let your father know I still remember his secret. What secret is that, sir? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Your father should be the one to tell you. Why don't you ask him? What's it about? Like I said, it's his secret. Let him tell you about it. Got to go now. Give him a message for me. Tell him I saw you out here, and that I'll be waiting for him on the wharf at Lock Maven, as we read. Don't forget to give him the message. Bye. <laughs> Have a nice day, Emily. He what? You mustn't pay attention to anything he said. But what is your secret, Father? And what did he mean you knew the story behind his eye being missing? There are some things that a child your age shouldn't know. But you mustn't keep a secret from me. And if you won't tell me, then I'll go ask him what really uh -huh. happened. Come back, Emily. Come back here at once. Uh, now do what I tell you. Uh, let me go. Oh. Are you mad? What are you doing? Just what I have to. Uh, no. Are you staying there, you hear? Just stay out of this, Elizabeth. But, Victor! This family will never be the same. <laughs> All right, Sakel. This time you've gone too far. I wouldn't be able to bear the shame of Emily's learning of my monstrous creation. Sakel cannot be allowed to live. Let me in, Victor. Let me in. Just wait a minute. I'm sure the doctor knows what I'll do if he doesn't show up. Now that I know where to find his little girl. What? Uh. Who's there? Mm. I'm scared of my own shadow tonight. <laughs> So, you're still around, are you? Yeah. 
kill. Oh, my God. Huh? But, but how did you... It's not possible. years on the force, I've never seen anything that's turned my stomach as much as this. It wasn't a drowning, Chief. It looks like he was dead before he hit the water. I'd say the most probable cause of death was having his neck broken. You're a very bright boy, aren't you, Sergeant? Say, thank you very much, Chief. There were signs of a struggle and this gun was nearby. Huh? Let me have a look. Nice weapon. Well maintained. Recently fired. It couldn't be the murder weapon, Chief, because he was killed by hand. Huh? Hmm. I'm very impressed. I'm so happy that I'm working with men who are so acutely perceptive. Thank you. I'm honored, sir. Hmm. Huh? I'm sure you are. All right, now. Are we absolutely positive this is Mr. Sukel, Dr. Victor's assistant? Yes, sir. He and I went to the university together in Geneva. You did? Well, isn't that nice? Now tell me about him. Please, Emma, please don't go. You've been like a second mother to Emily. You know how much she'll miss you. Please reconsider. You've always been kind to me. But now there's an evil presence here. I am oh, sorry, but I must stop. leave this place. Don't go. Oh. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Um, excuse me. So Emma's decided not to work here anymore. Didn't you say why? No. I just can't understand why she left. Mm. There's more to this than meets the eye. That woman looked very frightened. What's this? Shame on you, young man, for stealing that farmer's food. Oh! Oh! oh. What do you want now? Doctor, I am sorry that I must trouble you so often. All right. So get on with it. The truth is, I came here to return something. Gotcha. That's not mine. I don't even own a weapon. Hmm. Oh, well, my mistake. I suppose the gun must belong to somebody else. Gotta go now. Oh. Did you know that your assistant was found murdered? He's dead. But, Doctor, aren't you shocked to hear about this? Uh, of course. He was an excellent assistant. Yes, I guess he must have been. Otherwise, you wouldn't have taken him with you for that month you spent in England. It was an academic sabbatical. We went there to do some research together. Strange choice for a sabbatical. A run-down old place like Snowden Castle. What makes you say that? You weren't trying to duplicate your father's work? Mm. No, I wasn't. I wish I could be sure of that. You can. Huh? Oh, Elizabeth. Madam, I... Inspector, I accompanied my husband on that trip to England. While he was there, he wasn't near a laboratory. I assure you... Good. I'm sure you're right. We'll say no more about it. Goodbye, Doctor. I'm very sorry to have bothered you. Madam? 
Oh, I almost forgot. One of the local farmers said he saw some kind of monster. Strange. All it said was the word Franken. <gasps> huh? Isn't that odd, Dr. Victor? Franken. Franken. Frankenstein. Hmm. Oh. He knows. He knows. Tell me, darling, what does he know? I'm too ashamed to tell you. Darling? that by yourself, Emily? Of course. I can milk her myself. Mom came with me today, and she'll help me so we can make a really great cake for you. Oh! Uh oh <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you laugh. I'm glad. You haven't laughed for a long time, Emily. Sounds nice. Oh, really? You bet. I guess it has been a while. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that the two of you have been having problems. Is there anything I can do to help? What concerns me most is that we've always told each other everything. But now I can tell that he's hiding something from me, something that's disturbing him. My dear, we've all done some things that we're ashamed of. But the follies of youth are of no concern now. Unless he started again. Father, the world cannot remain ignorant of the work you have done that has resulted in the creation of life. The story must be told. Creation of life is different than bringing someone back from the dead. It's dangerous. It's wrong. Nothing you can say will stop me. The world must be made to recognize your brilliance. Tell me what it is. What? For Victor's sake, you must tell me. I love Victor and I want to help him. I'm not sure I can. I once thought that I could be a god. But then I saw that by creating life, I was doing something that was terribly wrong. Are you telling me that what the inspector implied is true? That Victor's made some kind of monster? I don't know. But you suspect it, don't you? Tell me why. It was a very long time ago, Elizabeth. Poor old lady. Worked for Dr. Victor, didn't she? Yeah. Name was Emma. Strange thing is, is that the coroner said something frightened her so much that her heart just stopped beating. In other words, she was literally scared to death. Yes, I believe the coroner is right, and I think I know what she saw. Whatever it is, it must be starving. We found bits of roots he'd been eating, and all of her belongings are covered with bite marks. It seems the monster needs a great deal of food, which gives us a clue as to where he'll strike next. We'd better get back to town, and fast. <laughs> May you enjoy long life and happiness. Oh, happiness to the blood in her Go ahead and kiss her, you lunkhead. Come on. Because if you don't, I'll come over there and do it for you. <laughs> uh, well, mm. Oh, the lights are out. Oh, the lights. Oh, the lights. Huh? What? What happened to the lights? Hey, who's that? Did you what? invite him? I've never seen him before. Excuse the inconvenience. We'll have these candles relit in just a minute. It's about time. Oh, oh darling. Call the police. Hurry now. I got him. He's not even phased. Keep your eyes open. He's got to be around here somewhere. 
And be careful out there. We've got him surrounded, Inspector. This is it. Let's go get him. There he is. He's headed for the mountains. Watch it, guys. Now's our chance. Fire! You're going to have to be extremely careful, men. He's incredibly strong. imagined you could sing like that. And your accompaniment was wonderful too, Grandfather. I agree, it was great. Well, you could be a professional musician, Professor. Bra. And now for your listening pleasure, here's Dr. Frankenstein. Bra. You know, before he became a scientist, my grandpa really wanted to be a music performer. Oh? Well, then if you want to make your grandpa happy, maybe you should become a professional entertainer yourself, right? Oh, really? You really think so? Sure. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, presenting Emily Frankenstein. <sighs> it's getting colder. I think our fire needs a little help. <laughs> hey, Em, what's wrong? What is it? Uh, what is it? I saw something really big. Out the window. It could be a bear. A bear? I'd better take the rifle and have a look. I don't see anything. If there was anything out there, it's gone now. He won't bother us anymore. I'm sure I saw something there. Something big. Don't worry, Emily. You've always got Philip around to protect you. He's what you might call your knight in shining armor. <laughs> now, let's sing.
I'm sorry you had to interrupt your busy schedule to come here, Doctor, but my men have found something I think you should see. It's a clue to the case I've been working on. A clue? Yes, it's right behind this door. Follow me. Doctor, right this way. Where is this clue? Now. Look over there. Oh! 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 Keep it away! Oh! 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 Get back, I say! Oh! 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 What's going on? Huh? Okay, that's enough. We found this slide projector hidden in Mr. Sakel's room. Now you must tell me everything. Just how much do you know about this monster, Victor? I know nothing. Now that's a pity. Oh, by the way, I was sorry to hear about what happened to Emma. What? Emma? I'm sorry. I thought you'd been told. Her body was found this morning. What? That's right. Something scared her to death. This obsession with bringing the dead back to life is not only insane, it's blasphemy. It's wrong. Dear God, what have I done? I am guilty and must suffer the consequences. Victor, no! Let go of it, Victor. Elizabeth, let go. You don't understand. I'm not going to let it go. I'm your wife. I don't care what you've done. I love you. Elizabeth. <sighs> you have no idea what I am going through. Elizabeth. Dear, I know you as well as I know myself. I feel I'm so ashamed. Victor, my darling, I love you. I'm a part of you and always will be, as you will always be a part of me. There isn't anything we can overcome together. Elizabeth, oh, my darling. I know you mean what you say, darling. But if you knew of the blood in my hands and what I have created, I know even you wouldn't forgive me. Emily, dear. Yes, Grandpa? Emily, I think it's about time for you to be going home. You've been here a long time. I'm sure your parents miss your company. No. Emily, you can't fool me. You don't want to go because of Philip. <gasps> Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> Why don't you ever visit us at home? Mm. Why do you ask? Father has a secret, you know. It has something to do with what happened to Lucky and Mr. Sukel, Father's lab assistant. He did something very wrong. I just know it. Everyone has secrets, Emily, but that doesn't necessarily mean they've done anything wrong. Perhaps it's something he feels that you're too young to understand. So long, Professor. Be back as soon as I can. Philip? Where are you going? Philip is going to town to pick up some things for me. I'm sure he'd enjoy your company. Oh, I'll walk part way with you. To atone for my sins, I must destroy what I've created. <laughs> Do I have a visitor? I don't see very well. Please make yourself at home. I have no food to offer you, I'm afraid, but I do have some goat's milk. All right? Philip, when will you be coming back? In two or three days. Can't you come back sooner? I'll try. Say, you should be getting back. Wouldn't want him to get worried about you, Emily. You don't have to worry about me, you know. Bye. So long. Here, try this. Oh, so it's you. You'll be safe here. Emily. Oh, Grandpa, the monster's here. Hurry, we have to run away. <gasps> Stay away from him, monster. Oh, oh. Grandpa, get up. Emily, stop it. Everything is all right now. But, Grandpa. 
He won't bother you. So don't worry about it, Emily, okay? All right. But I'm scared. No. No, come back. See, there was nothing to worry about. I may be blind, but I can tell an awful lot about a person, even without my vision. Far too many people judge their fellow man by their outward appearance. I'm afraid for him, Emily. If he gets too close to town, he'll probably be killed. No! I missed him. Stay inside. Emily, don't permit your father to kill that man. You have to try and stop him. Right. Papa! Papa, where are you, Papa? Papa? <gasps> He's around here somewhere. Huh? <gasps> If only... Ah, it's almost as if I were his father and he my son. Sorry, but what I have created I must destroy, my son. The time has come. He's gone, but I'll find him. He couldn't have gone far. Ah, oh, you've come back. I heard shooting. Have you seen Emily? Huh? This is her. Are you all right, Emily? Let's bring her into the bedroom. Ah, you're awake. You're all right, sweetheart. Oh, Grandpa, a bear attacked me. It's okay. You were very lucky that he was there to save you. Ah, it's okay. I guess I'm going to have to make you a sturdier chair of your own. Oh, Vlad! Are you sure? He's been wounded in the arm. I guess your father must have shot him.
And what we'll end up with is bread dough, you see? That's very good. Now, mix it all up. Uh-huh, that's right. That's very good. I made that stool strong enough to hold an elephant. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, little birdies. How sweet. Come on down here. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. treated badly, Emily, and he reacted the same way that most people do. You see, he may not look much like a human, but he has a human heart, and it was only natural for him to act like one. For better or for worse. I don't understand. Well, never mind. It wasn't important. What is important is that everything is new to him, like those birds. I don't uh... think he's ever seen any before. Frunken? Ah. Do you know what those things on your shoulder are? Birds! Uh, ah, da. That's not a butta. That's called a bird. Try my name now. Elam Emma. Not bad. Emily. Emelo. Oh, well, wouldn't you know it? My name you can't say. <laughs> Don't you worry about it, Emily. He'll be saying it soon enough. Soon he'll talk just like the rest of us. Uh, L -O -Lo. Uh, I give up. <laughs> Wee! you understand? Where are you? I must destroy him. Elizabeth and I will never again be happy together if I fail. No matter what happens, I'll always love you, my darling. If anything were to happen to you, I don't think I could bear it. May God protect you from harm. I can't wait to see Emily. Boy, will she be surprised. I made it back in just one day. Huh? Oh! I've got 
to get back to town as fast as I can. I've got to get some help. That's the monster that everybody's been looking for. God knows what he'll do to Emily and the Professor. I hope I'm not too late. Are we just going to stand around and talk about it, or are we going to do something? My wife is scared to go out of the house. we got to protect our homes, our families. This is a police matter. If you go up there as an unruly mob, someone's going to get hurt. You can't stop us. He won't get away. Come on. What are we waiting for? Listen, you have no idea how dangerous this thing is. It's We've capable heard of killing all of you. We know what to do. Come on. Let's go get him now. Hey, listen to me. Come back here, you fool. Mad dogs. All of them. All right, let's go. I can't wait. I'm going up there. There he is. Get him! Get him! Ah! Who's hunting at this time of year? They're shooting at him. Drunken. He needs my help. Why don't you answer me? Somewhere with your father. Oh, I've got to go Don't find them. Me. This cottage. Emily may be in danger. That's great. Now we've got a forest fire. My God, what a mess. Oh, Watch ow. It. oh my head. Oh, Maybe ah. we should move away from the fire, Inspector. It's pretty hot up here. Stop whining. Think of what it's like for the people trapped in there. Ugh. Duncan! Oh, Lord, be merciful and... Protect him, he's innocent. Go back, Franken. Turn back and save yourself. Forget about me. Go back!
back, Elizabeth. my darling, I love you. I'm a part of you and always will be. Just as you will always be a part of me. Together, there's nothing you and I can't overcome. So now I have the blood of my darling Elizabeth on my hands as well. <laughs> Dr. Victor, you have my condolences. We're doing everything we can, but my men still haven't come up with a way to stop him. He's hiding somewhere in the mountains. I must do it. Huh? I must be the one. It's my responsibility. Why was your family singled out as his target, Dr. Victor? That's what I can't understand. Your daughter, your wife, your father, everybody, in fact, that you were close with. No, Franken would never do that. Emily, how can you say that? If that horrible creature hadn't come up here, both your mother and your grandfather would still be alive and well today. Oh, there he is. Huh? After him. He's going back into the woods. Come on, you men. We him. 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 He's still breathing. He's alive. Oh, thank God. Oh, Grandpa, please don't die. Franken. No. No, Grandpa. He couldn't. He wouldn't hurt you. Emily? I'm going to take care of that thing myself. What? Philip! No, Philip, come back, come back! Philip, come back! for Emily's grandfather and her mother.
caused too much pain already. There's no sanctuary here for the likes of you. You frightened poor Emma to death, you tried to kill my father, and you murdered my wife. You must die. I will kill him or die trying in this holy place, I swear. So you were saved by Frumpkin? Correct. If it hadn't have been for him, I would have burned to death in that inferno. Then what about Mama? He didn't kill your mother. He tried to save her, but he came too late. Carrying me, he just couldn't get to her fast enough. He made a valiant attempt, Emily, but she was gone. But they're hunting him for killing her. No, he's guiltless. Your father and I created him. Therefore, his acts are our responsibility. Huh? So, so that's, that's my father's secret. We are the ones who attempted to unravel the mysteries of nature. Therefore, we are the ones who should be punished, not poor Franken. <laughs> You mean the dragon's teeth? Now he's trapped for sure. Oh, what'll I do? Open fire! Ah! <laughs> 
Jim! You can't go on hurting people! What I have created, I will destroy. You are of the dead and must return from whence you came. Why won't you die? No! Papa, don't do it! Emily, what are you saying? Because of him, your mother died a horrible death. Dear Emily, I just can't go on. Elizabeth. <laughs> and so the monster perished, as did his creator, Dr. Frankenstein. Though the doctor may have been misguided in his attempts to create life, I often ask myself, did he create a monster? Or was it mankind's inability to accept the outwardly monstrous form of what he had created that caused us to treat him in a way that made his violent actions inevitable? I've never been able to answer that question, and I don't suppose I ever will.